is at war. In the previous year, Germany and its allies had occupied Poland, France, and the Lowlands. Now they've expanded into North Africa, Greece, Yugoslavia, and the Soviet Union. Britain, still unoccupied, has suffered tremendously from Nazi bombing. More than 400 bombs fell on London in the first night of the bombing on October 7, 1940, and nearly 2,000 in the first week alone. By the time the Blitz ended in June of 1941, no neighborhood in London was spared. Other major cities experienced a similar fate. To protect the civilian population, children were sent to the countryside. Though protected from bombs, they were not safe from the Nazi war machine. If he couldn't conquer Britain directly using his military might, Hitler decided he would starve its citizens into submission. German U-boats fanned out across the Atlantic, destroying every supply ship they could. England was facing a severe shortage of supplies, and strict rationing was in effect. It was under these dire conditions that a call rang out from radios across America. Lord Woolton, the British Minister of Food, implored the Allies. Don't you people in the Americas do without cream in your coffee just one day a week so little children here can have milk? The call was heard and answered by an extraordinary Canadian, Hal Rogers, the founder of the Association of Kinsmen Clubs of Canada, now known as Kin Canada. 